Hello. When I left the Jehovah's Witnesses, the Watchtower, about 30 years ago, one of the first books that impressed me was Jacques Ellul Propaganda, about which the Los Angeles Times, Robert Kirsch, said, a far more frightening work than any of the nightmare novels of George Orwell. And Marshall McLuhan, no less, said the theme of propaganda is quite simply that when our new technology encompasses any culture or society, the result is propaganda. Well, the book was published in 1965 and was not exactly a sensation, but became within a, f a decade or so the book on the subject. I don't know what, what Elul was talking about back then was that the propaganda was now the new normal, not just of totalitarian states, Stalin, Mussolini and Hitler of course used propaganda to nefarious purposes, but propaganda was now universal according to Elul's thesis. One of the things that surprised me about the book when I read it was his he seems to be going counterintuitive when it comes to the role of education or literacy. Most of us assume, I think, that when people become literate, they are less susceptible to deceit and dis propaganda than they would be when they are subliterate or illiterate. Alol says the opposite. For instance, in his book, he says the vast major majority of people, perhaps 90%, know how to read but do not exercise their intelligence beyond this. They attribute authority and eminent value to the printed word or conversely reject it altogether. As these people do not possess enough knowledge to reflect and discern, they believe or disbelieve in toto, that is totality, what they read. And as such people moreover will select the easiest, not the hardest reading matter, they are precisely on the level at which the printed word can seize and convince them without opposition. They are perfectly adapted to propaganda. So let me read that last sentence again. As such people, moreover, will select the easiest, not the hardest reading matter. They are precisely on the level at which the printed word can seize and convince them without opposition. So he's making the case that Men cannot be properly propagandized if they are not literate. But if their literacy only serves at a very basic level, they will be deceived. He goes on to say, actually the most obvious result of primary education in the 19th and 20th centuries was to make the individual susceptible to super propaganda. There is no chance of raising the intellectual level of Western populations sufficiently and rapidly enough to compensate for the progress of propaganda. Propaganda techniques have advanced so much faster than the reasoning capacity of the average man that to close this gap and shape this man intellectually outside the framework of propaganda is almost impossible. In fact, what happens and what we see all around us is the claim that propaganda itself is our culture and what the masses ought to learn. So what is the result? after generations of literate people being subjugated to what amounts to propaganda all the time. Later in the book, he talks about what this creates in the general population. Man modified in this fashion demands simple solutions, catchwords, certainties, continuity, commitment, a clear and simple division of the world into good and evil efficiency and unity of thought. He cannot bear ambiguity. He cannot bear that the opponent should in any way represent what is good or right. Notice that word again. He, he cannot bear ambiguity. The world must be black or white for a person who has been the victim of propaganda most of his life. Jacques Ellul didn't survive into the age of the internet. He died in 1994 at the age of 82. What would Jacques Ellul have thought of our age of information?
I think for me that's a tantalizing question. Would he have thought of our age of information as being more the age of misinformation? Shock a little propaganda. I recommend it to everyone. As basic reading. Not just religious people, but people who live in 2018. Good stuff.